Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Uh, today I'll be doing a charging sequence of a LiPo battery using the uh, Acucel 6 charger from Turnergy. I'll be using a uh, 12 volt adapter because uh, it's a lot easier to use than a 12 volt adapter because I'm indoors. Uh, so what we need to do is connect up our main power supply which is a 5.5 millimeter jack and we'll plug that in and then straight away it comes up to energy um, this is what it should come up with uh, when you first turn it on now what we need to do is as we're going to be charging a LiPo battery we need to set the charger uh, for that specific type of battery so if we push type you can see that uh, it's cycling through the different types of batteries okay I've actually done a review of this charger so you can see what um, each program does um, and how to set up your charger now anyway what we've done we've got here we've got LiPo battery so once we've found what we want we need to push the uh, start button so push that and now it comes up now this information here tells us it's LiPo we've, we've selected what we can do with that LiPo in this case it says charge the uh, amperage will be putting into the battery to charge it and the voltage um, also it tells me what for, what cells the battery that I'll be charging as well which I need to set okay this is already being preset for the type of battery that I'm going to charge but I will quickly show you how to um, adjust each one now what we do is we go first of all we go up the top what we're going to do with the battery okay if you see the you've got your status buttons if we push left or right you can see it changes um, to balance or we can fast charge it we can store it we can discharge it or we go back to charging now I'm going to be doing a balance charge because that's the most common one that most people do to prolong the life um, of your batteries um, it's the most one to keep uh, you know to keep your batteries keeping um, as tip top as you can and to make sure your cells are nice and balanced okay now what we need to do is the next thing we need to do is go to our battery our life of battery okay on this one I'm using a Turnergy battery which is a 2200 mAh uh, 14.8 volt battery um, it doesn't have to be Turnergy it could be any other make of LiPo as long as you've got the correct um, adapters this one comes with a uh, XT60 adapter uh, but you can buy the um, adapter changes from Turnergy themselves that you can change for different plugs okay Anyway, on the uh, health and safety um, health and safety and uh, balancing um, instructions that comes with the battery, it should tell you what the maximum amperage is um, and the voltage and how many cells the battery has. Once you've got all that information, which is I've already done for this, uh, we can go back to the charger and set the charger to the same as the battery. So, on here we've already got the 2.2 amps and 14.8 volt with a four cell, which is what we need. But to change it, if we push um, start, you can see on here that the amperage will change. Will, will start flashing. Now we can use left or right on the status to decrease the amperage or increase it to whatever uh, your specific, you know, your specific battery hat needs to so keep charging. And if we push start again, the voltage will start flashing. Um, the cells is already predetermined by the voltage so you can't actually get them out of cells wrong and what we do is you go um, status keep going pushing down that way or we can go plus and go even higher so what we'll do is we'll set it as 14.8 volt which is what my battery needs now if you push start again all the blinking lights should stay seen out saying that we've got lipo balance charge 2.2 um, amps charging uh, at 14.8 volts uh, and a four cell now, once you're happy, okay, what we, the next thing we do is we connect the battery. All right, but I'm going to show you what will happen if your battery's not connected correctly or you've got damaged cables going to your LiPo battery. So what we do is we hold the start button for a couple of seconds uh, and the charge will then go through a self-diagnostic to make sure that uh, the LiPo battery is connected correctly, um, just so you don't have any problems while charging. So what I'll do is I'll hold it for two seconds. And it does a self test see and now it will come up with connection break this will happen if there's a problem with the connections okay now to go back you just push um, on here stop or type button and go back now 
Now we're going to go to the, to the uh, battery and show you what it should be like and how to uh, charge it. Now in the box, um, it comes with various different cables. Uh, this one here is our main charging cable, which is the one we'll be using today to charge our LiPo with the uh, XT60 uh, connection on the end. With the two um, jacks, and that to go onto the uh, output of the main charger. Let's put that aside. Here is the uh, 12 volt adapter, which I told you about, which we can use to charge, uh, well, to power up the charger with a 12 volt using these two uh, crocodile clips, which we don't need. And you've got another plug here um, to add onto it, which uh, gives you two crocodile clips. Um, so you can charge other types of batteries that you don't have the correct uh, on there, or you can use it to power up um, other equipment using your LiPo or your charger. You don't need that. So here we go, we've got our main charging cable. First thing we need to do is uh, connect our two negative and positive um, jacks to the main charger. Uh, you can't really get it wrong because on the charger it actually shows you uh, red for positive or plus, black for negative um, on the side there. So what we do is we'll put our uh, negative on there first, the black one. Just get it in the hole and push it. And then now we connect our positive up in the same hole. Okay. Once that's done, we need to do is now is connect um, our main uh, balance cable of the LiPo to the balance connectors on the uh, side of the charger. Now you can't get it wrong, you can only go in one way. Um, each one is set for the uh, type of cells. This one here is actually for the four cell. Okay, now I've got um, my power cable to the battery ready to go i've got the um, lipo battery connected to the uh, balance port and now what we need to do now is connect uh, these two cables to connect uh, together so i'm gonna have to put the camera down for a sec i'll you have a nice close look at the lcd screen okay and there we go there's the um, all connected now as all the circuits complete we're going to go back to the charger and now Keep my finger on the, uh, for two seconds on the charger again for it to do a self-diagnostic. Now, if I've connected everything correctly, it should pass and then um, confirm um, that I'm ready to start charge. Uh, well, balance charge in this case. So keep finger on start. There's self-check again. Okay, now it's passed to say that uh, all these cables are connected correctly and there's no damage to them. Now, here, the R and the S with these uh, four numbers here. What this means is R is what the charger detected. It detected that it's a four, um, four cell. The S is what I've put in. I've you know selected it's 2.2 amps um, and 18, uh, 14.8 volt, saying it's a um, four cell. Um, it's only on time. It only gives you a short time. So we keep thing on again. Do another check. Right, okay. Now we know that as long as that and this, these two here are identical, we're good to go. So push start just once, and now it's on the charging sequence. That's uh, your LiPo, um, four cells, that's your input amperage to the battery, that's your voltage, um, we're doing a balance, and that's your time. Now this specific battery is actually fully charged, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, that's why the amperage is quite low, if you're doing a full charge that should say 2.2 amps there. Now quick menu, so we can have a quick look at what, what's going on while we're charging. If you push the um, status on the right, ah, there we go, it's just telling me that the battery is now full. Uh, this will happen once the uh, battery charges and it's completely full. So what we can do is while it's still here, we can push right. It tells us what our voltages are for our cells. So we've done a balance charge. Now if we push left, uh, sorry, right again to come back out and push left. Oh, okay, well, it won't tell us that. But if you push left, it will tell you what your settings are about um, the maximum amperage going in, the temperature uh, and all the other um, settings that you've inputted on it, which you will see how to do in my how to you know my um, Tenergy uh, review. But anyway, that's it. That is how you charge a standard um, LiPo battery. Uh, oh, and once it's all charged, to get out of this, you just push um, stop, and it brings us back down to a uh, for our next battery. And that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video, and I hope it's uh, shed some light on how to charge a LiPo battery uh, using this charger. Thanks very much and uh, wait for another video soon. Bye bye.